What about making your sound better? Presenting MIDI Q by WA Production. This real-time MIDI effect creates sequences of notes and chords from a purely visual interface. You don't need any knowledge of chord transitions to use MIDI Q, as everything is programmed with patterns and numbers. Great if you want inspiration without being distracted by the technicalities of music theory. The plugin is a redesigned and improved version of legacy product I2C8. MIDI Q runs as a MIDI effect in a door, so you'll need to insert it before an instrument. Shown in logic here, that's an easy process, but this will vary depending on your door. I've inserted it here before a synth plugin, but you can use any kind of VST instrument. The interface looks a bit esoteric at first glance, but it's actually very easy to get to grips with. The sequence of eight shapes here represent related chords based on the root key above. So choose a root key, major or minor, and then click to select one of the eight shapes for each position. Simply hitting play on your door will start the playback. You can mute a chord shape with the yellow button. Delete it with the X. And copy paste a chord shape with the plus symbol. You don't have to have eight shapes. You can fill as many or as few of the positions as you like. It's also possible to change the velocity of a chord. Just choose it and then use the slider shown here. So what's actually happening? MIDI Q is generating a sequence of chords based around the shape sequence that you've chosen. You can see the actual chords that are playing below each shape in the eight positions. They're named along with a piano roll style graphic for each one. This is just the beginning of the experimentation. Click on any position of shape or chord and this variation pop-up will appear, giving you nine different variations to try out, all based around your sequence of shapes and the root key that you've originally chosen. If there's a chord that you want to keep as you go through the variations, just click the chord and then this lock icon will appear. Press it to lock it in place. You can even choose specific chords with the arrows here. Let's look at a couple more options for changing which notes and chords are chosen. The pitch control here defines the average register of the notes, moving the chords up and down the scale using different chord inversions. Voices can be switched between one, two and three, fun for single bass lines or double harmonies. The off key control sets the probability that chords will be chosen away from the root key that you've selected, and it can throw up some interesting variations. Change the note division with the trigger arrows just here.
Once you're happy with the chord sequence, you can export it straight into your DAW just by clicking and dragging here. Then you can edit the MIDI data in whichever way you want to. Another cool feature, you can set the trigger option to MIDI so that the eight white keys of your keyboard trigger the eight chord shapes. Great for freestyle playing. We've included presets too to get your creative juices flowing. They're accessed just here. Here's a couple more examples using MIDI Q to trigger different kinds of synth patches. Once you get to grips with MIDI-Q and let go of micromanaging your chord programming, you'll find this is a really fun and inspirational way to kickstart a song or generate a bass line. There's more information at the WA Production website and pluginboutique.com.